Empty Sky. This is the very first Elton John album. Um, it's kind of rough. Um, it's got a rockier sound. Um, a lot of the stuff that was to follow. Um, it's got uh, Skyline Pigeon on it, which was re-recorded after. Um, yeah, the songs are not that memorable, but um, the delivery is quite good. Voice spitting out the uh, fire that um, was prominent in the early days. Um, this is the 1995 um, remaster. Um, it's got Elton on piano, vocals, organ, harpsichord. Um, produced by Steve Brown. Uh, so yeah, this is the very first one. That's where it all started, and it's not essential, but it's worth having if you're a fan. This is the uh, second Elton John album just titled Elton John. Uh, this is where the uh, career really starts to take off. Um, it's got your song on it, um, Take Me to the Pilot, um, Border Song, uh, great track. Uh, it's kind of a gospel edge to some of these songs, uh, in my mind. Um, this is the 1995 remaster, and it's got bonus tracks, Bad Side of the Moon, Grey Seal, Rock and Roll Madonna. Um, Bander. Picture it inside. And so this is where it really starts cooking. And this is uh, the album broken. Um, Tumbleweed Connection. Um, this is uh, the third Elton John album. Um, this actually is one of my favourites. Um, it's kind of a concept um, written about the uh, Wild West. Um, a lot of well known gun come down in time. Um, My Father's Gone, which is a fantastic track. Uh, again, this reminds me of the band. Um, it's got that kind of laid back southern feel to it. Um, this album was written before um, Elton and Bernie actually went stateside. Um, the bonus track here is Madman Across the Water. Original version, another great song. Yeah, Burn on a Mission is on this. Um, not a lot, no, I don't think there's any singles that were hits from this. Um, oh, yeah, another one, Where To Now, St. Peter. It's another uh, great track. Yeah, so uh, Tomorrow Connection is a mini masterpiece. 17th of 11, 70, um, was the first live album, um, it's actually a radio broadcast. This album only features Nigel Olsen on drums, Dee Murray on bass, accompanying Elton on piano and vocals. Uh, it was a radio broadcast and eventually released as a live album in 1971. It's got rousing versions of uh, Set of the Moon, a Marina, Take Me to the Pilot, uh, 60 Years On. There's even the Stones, Honky Tonk Women, and then Burn Down the Mission, uh, which goes into My Baby Left Me and the Beatles Get Back. So, uh, yeah, this is a, a great snapshot of early live Elton. Next up is Madman Across the Water. Um, this album contains the classic Tiny Dancer, Levon, 
Razor Face and one of my favourite Elton John tracks of all time, Madman Across the Water itself. Um, Indian Sunset is on here too. Here in the booklet we see Hilton and Bernie. This is the 95 reissue by uh, Gus Dudgeon. Next up is uh, Hunky Chateau and um, again this is the 1995 remaster. Um, the remasters are actually very good. Uh, Gus Dudgeon um, was responsible and he really toughened up the sound and made it punchy and made it really really nice. Um, Honky Cat is on here. Um, Rocket Man another classic um, and another really good Elton Ballad is Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's pretty good album, one of the classics um, here we can see everybody that played on it um, it's even got violin by Jean-Luc Ponty Next is Don't Shoot Me, I'm Only the Piano Player. Um, again, 1995 remaster. Um, this has got Daniel on it. Um, and a great track, Blues for My Baby and Me. Um, Takes a Love Song. Crocodile Rock is on here as well. And there's some bonus tracks, uh, Screw You, Jack Rabbit, Whenever You Are Ready, We Will Steady Again, and Skyline Pigeon, piano version. And next, it's the Mighty Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Uh, some people reckon that this is the pinnacle of his career. It may not be far wrong as it has some fantastic tracks on here. Some of the best songs he's done. Um, one of my favourites of all time again is Funeral for a Friend, Love Lies Bleeding, an 11 minute opus. Um, Candle in the Wind, Benny and the Jets, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, Grey Seal, Sweet Painted Lady, um, Saturday Night's Already Fighting, Harmony. Yeah, this is Elton's masterpiece. Again, this is the 1995 remaster. And here again we see Elton's lyricist, Barney, living it up. The band, D. Murray, Davy Johnson, Nigel Olson. Next, um, things kind of take a dip. Caribou. Um, again, 1995 remaster. Um, this has got the bitches back on it. Um, a lot of the material is a little bit uninteresting. Some people cite it as a classic. Um, again it's got Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. Bonus tracks Pinball Wizard, Six City, Cold Highway and of course Step Into Christmas. Um, wouldn't be my favourite. Certainly it has a lot to live up to. Um, following up um, Goodbye Yellow Brick Rule. So it's it's not a bad album, but you know it's not one of his best by any means. What happened next? Well, he came bouncing back with Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy. Um, this is a great album. It's got a title track, Captain Fantastic, um, Tower of Babel, Bitter Fingers, Tell Me When the Whistle Blows. 
Someone saved my life tonight. Um, better off dead. It's it's just a good album. The songwriting is solid, um, and there's great catchy melodies. Um, bonus tracks: Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, One Day at a Time, and Philadelphia Freedom. This is the 1995 remaster. And uh, yeah, this will be one of my favorite Elton John albums. Here we can see Elton is the captain and Bernie is the kid. This is kind of a concept in the fact that it kind of goes back over their career. They write about what happened and stuff like that. Rock of the Westies, um, again. The um, songs here are not as strong as the other 70s albums. Um, Island Girl is on it, but it's becoming a bit bubblegum pop. Uh, Feel Like a Bullet in the Gun of Robert Ford. Kind of harks back to the cowboy days they used to write about. Um, it's a bit doesn't keep your attention um, bonus track don't go breaking my heart is the duet with Kiki D that was a big single there's the band um, it was recorded in um, Caribou Ranch Colorado hence the pun in the title here and there um, it's a double live album. It used to be a single LP, uh, but this is the 1995 um, remastered and expanded version. Um, first concert is from the Royal Festival Hall in May 1974, and the second uh, concert is from Madison Square Garden, November 1974. Um, this was kind of um, his parting shot from Dick James and um, this was expanded in 1995 by Gus Dudgeon. It's got some fantastic performances on it. Great shot of the uh, drum, bass and guitar. There's extensive sleeve notes here as well by John Tobler. So this is a great live um, Elton document from the mid 70s. And finally there's Blue Moves. Um, this is the 1996 remaster. Um, it's just got two CDs. Um, there is a single CD version as well which omits three tracks. The basic tracks for this album were recorded in Canada in 1976 and overdubbed in England and various other studios around the place. Um, it contains the hit um, Sorry Seems to be the Hardest Word. Um, Tonight is on there. One Horse Town. Great track. The album's not a very happy one. Um, a lot of the lyrics um, have to do with um, relationships failing and self-pity. Um, Bernie was going through a lot of problems at the time. Um, this edition has got some extensive sleeve notes and the lyrics. Uh, there's also a host of uh, session musicians on here. Um, and it's a pretty powerful album. Um, some cite it as one of his best. Um, Bite Your Lip, Get Up and Dance is the very last track and it just goes on too, too long. It's about 6 minutes 40 seconds. It's just fast, soulful disco. It's a bit irritating. Uh, some of the songs could definitely have done with editing. Um, 
But yeah, overall, it's it's a it's still a an essential album for fans. Um, White Eyed and Laughing. That's not on the single CD version. Um, Out of the Blue. That's another uh, instrumental. That's not on it either. Uh, Shoulder Holster. That was also omitted from the late 80s single CD edition. Um, but they're all here. It was the first um, LP Elton released on his Rocket label. In 1977 Elvis decided to take a break and quit uh, showbiz, uh, but as we all know, he didn't. <laughs>